Bit of a midweek update for you. First things first, my Bandit VXL, I think, I think it's the fastest stock Bandit in the world. Now I'm sure loads of you say, now I've seen loads that do 70 mile an hour. Well, find me a video because I still can't find videos of a legitimate speed run where they do 70 mile an hour, apart from mine. So I'm not gloating about it. I want to see some more do 70, but I'm sure mine's the fastest. And this actual one could be yours. Guys, this is Bandy. She's a VXL Traxxas Bandit, and it boasts a speed of 70 mile an hour. 70 mile an hour and beyond. Nope. Oh, crash, crash, crash. Full throttle. Slow her down. Yeah! Bandy, you did it, 70 mile an hour. Yes, thank f <laughs> I've just been packing the Porsche up because the prize competition for this ends today. From seeing this video, you probably got, I don't know, four hours maybe. So just making sure that's all nicely packed in there. I've thrown a few stickers in. I've signed the inside the body as well. Now, just before anyone says, I don't sign stuff because I think I'm like important or special. I'm very important. Uh... I sign stuff because I think everything apart from one thing I've sold in the last 12 months to 18 months, everyone's asked for me to sign it. I purposely do it with a paint pen, so if the person that gets it, wins it, buys it, doesn't want my signature in there, they can remove it. That will be going to a new owner very soon. Got a nice big box down here for it. And I will make sure that's all packed in there safely. Armour tough. So that's going. The geo that was there is gone. That was eBayed. I've got some more to fix. So I'm slowly getting there with getting rid of some of this stuff. And next is the Bandit. I was looking at all the stuff I had and thinking of what's next to go. Looked at my Traxxas is there. Got a plan for that Russell. That's why there's a brand new body there. That Nitro one I want to get running. That was the very first brand new tracks as I ever bought I think so I want to keep hold of that and I thought well the VXL is probably never going to get used again so why not let one of you guys have the chance to own it straight from the video more or less worn tires shaved down shock tower and um, shock caps shaved down by the road along with a the body there wow on the roof but mechanically still good because I bent a couple of shock shafts I'm sure I replaced them all stock inside I don't know whether this is still a thing or whether it was just done outside of the uk but did you ever do that as a kid so and so was here the bandit could be yours there's a link in the description it is one week only and it doesn't matter if only one ticket sells someone will be getting my bandit vxl more information in the description if you're quick and you want the porsche there's still time so update what's going on there's a secret build under there i've nearly finished it i just don't want to reveal it too much yet some of you may guess let's give you a very sneak peek ready that's all you're seeing. That's coming very soon. I've got a few bits to finish on that. And then next on the list, I like to do one build at a time. So next on the list, I don't know whether to do the Avanti Black or the Boom Racing. You'll have to let me know. One of them two, I think. I've got a couple of little builds going in the background, but main builds, I'm swayed towards the Avanti Black Special. I think I want to try and race that in a vintage race as well. What else is going on? I've got, I've got a little chassis somewhere. I have a 24 scale competition this weekend, so building an LCG mini crawler, but ah there you are i've got a little endura um, lcg chassis i think that's for scx24 so we're going to use my scx24 there it's got a load of trill bits on it so i'm taking out this time took the it's not a max smasher even though it's got the body but i took this one last time this is the fcx24 not taking that going to take an scx24 this time i'm going to get the new rock hobby atlas 4x4 out today or tomorrow and start making that video this is available in the uk already but it's not actually available from fms or rock hobby but it is available from the uk i finally just uploaded and finished the mini crawl course video so that'll be out tomorrow nothing else really going on i'm sorting stuff out as you can see got the ladders out i'm sorting boxes out i'm just trying to tidy up a bit and painting maybe another clue there and i've also got i'm making a little board Got some flexi mdf i'm gonna make like a make like a variable climbing ramp thing for little mini crawlers with that someone said you can't get rid of the street mojave well i'm stripping it all down and putting it back to a standard one so i'm not so if it does go it won't be a street version it'll just be the standard exb like roller something i was going to mention in the previous this week at tomlin's video actually i've got 500 pound for charity which is about 700 dollars that has come from the buy me a coffee so everyone who supported that buy me a coffee we've got 
we've managed to raise 500 pound for charity. So I haven't decided yet on what charity to donate it to, but another idea I had was, and I want you to, and I want you to let me know what you think. Should I give it to like a registered charity or should I find like a local club or school or something and buy like 500 pounds worth of like mini crawlers or something like that and donate some stuff? I don't, I don't know. Part of me wants to give it to an actual charity, but then another part of me thinks, well, I could give it back to like the RC community or donate it to support a club or something like that. Let me know what you think, but there's 500 pounds, 700 dollars sat waiting to go to either a charity or back into the RC community. That's it for this video, guys. If you want my bandit, there's links in the description. I forgot to mention, one of the most popular comments on the channel is that I look like Ralphie from The Christmas Story. Yes, maybe I do a little bit and I've been using this picture in my videos and thumbnails for quite some time. And the only reason I mention it is because it's a very small minority that try and use it as an insult. I think he's pretty cool.